Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And we did not yet get the official blog post from T-Mobile, but we got more info from this article from Mike over at Light Reading. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out in its entirety. So this is good. This is quoting some T-Mobile spokesperson. So we got some, some more info on the Auction 108 holdings. So T-Mobile wins more 5G spectrum over AT&T's objections. The FCC agreed to issue most of T-Mobile's Auction 108 winnings of 2.5 spectrum licenses despite AT&T's objections. However, the agency is requiring T-Mobile to divest around 20 megahertz of spectrum in Hawaii. Like I said yesterday, this is something that T-Mobile uh, pushed. This is something that they sent in a letter to the FCC. This is a request that they made to speed up the process. They are going to say yes to that. They are not going to agree, you know, not agree to something that they put forth. So this is T-Mobile's uh, now to say yes. I'm sure behind the scenes that has already happened. So T the FCC is going to issue the license to T-Mobile. So here's the additional information that I wanted to, to share with you guys. The FCC's approval paves the way for T-Mobile to add more 2.5 capabilities across roughly 11,000 cell sites in the U.S., mostly in rural. The company has said it will use that additional spectrum to improve its wireless network, including its fixed wireless access services. So again, the company said 11,000 sites are going to see an immediate boost with this Auction 108 spectrum. That meaning... 2.5 radios are already deployed on those 11,000 cell sites. So that's going to be a huge boost quickly. And then the rest, I'll leave for you guys to, to check out. Like I said, the 20 megahertz is either AWS, 3, PCS, or 2.5, depending which whichever is chosen. We still don't know to this today if this is going to go directly to one carrier, if this is going to be auctioned off, if this is going to be split between carriers, that is currently unknown. So following its 20 megahertz divestiture in Hawaii, T-Mobile will still hold a maximum of 350 megahertz in Hawaii, comparing 145 by AT&T and 127 by Verizon. So again, T-Mobile will still have the bulk of the spectrum even after divesting 20 megahertz they'll still have a significant more amount of spectrum so still waiting for the official t-mobile blog post there might be additional more in-depth um stuff that they that they might post in the in that blog post so i'm still waiting for that but i'm sure some of you are eager to know how quickly this can be deployed i will say this to finish off the video the major metro course Right, the major metro markets, like the top 125 markets, are not going to see a benefit from this spectrum auction. It's going to be mostly white spaces, some suburban areas, but mostly rural areas, as stated in this article. And 11,000 of those sites in those white spaces are going to see an immediate impact from this auction as T-Mobile can deploy this remotely by just widening the bandwidth. Some of these areas already have N41 on air, but only like at 20 megahertz, 40 megahertz. Depending on county, they can now go to 80, 100, whatever the additional spectrum is. I, I don't know it per the individual counties, but that's what they can increase the bandwidth to. And that will, of course, speed up T-Mobile's network tremendously across these 11,000 sites. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.